Hey guys, Zot here. With the release of 8.3, saw three new essences added to the game for each specialization. The Formless Void, an essence that can be used by all classes and specs, achieved by clearing the new raid. Spark of Inspiration and Unwavering Ward, which can be obtained by doing horrific visions. And lastly, the Breath of the Dying for DPS and the Spirit of Preservation for healers, which you can get from doing the new assaults inside of Veil of Eternal Blossoms and Oldham. Now, not all of these essences are going to be good for PvP, but one of them stands out, and it's going to be a must have when it comes to PvP. I'm of course talking about the new DPS essence, Breath of the Dying. In this guide, we're going to be covering what the major and minor effects of this essence are, why it's so strong, followed up by how you can achieve each rank of this must-have essence. So let's get into it. When used as a major, the Breath of the Dying grants you access to Reaping Flames, a 40-yard, 40 45-second ranged ability that hits your target for an insane amount of damage, and if used on a target above 80% or below 20% health, reduces the cooldown by 30 seconds, whilst the minor effect is a very strong random proc, which also on top of that heals you for half the damage dealt. Also, if your target is below 20% health, this has a 400% increased chance to proc, so it basically acts as an execute. And one of the best parts of this essence are, is if you use it as a major or minor component, which we recommend all classes to do, you also gain 10 extra resistance to corruption, allowing you to wear even more overpowered corrupted gear. So what is it that makes this essence a must have? Well, the major effect on this ability is basically an improved Crucible of Flame. There is no ramp up time, no dispellable stacks, and it's even a shorter cooldown if you use it correctly. And on top of that, it even hits harder with a baseline hit of about 50k, with the chance to critical strike on a 15 second cooldown. It's just crazy. We predict this essence as a major to be used by pretty much every single DPS spec other than those who get great usage out of Conflict and Strife. So classes like Windwalkers and Shadow Priests, for instance. Whereas the minor effect on this essence is just going to be default for everybody, without any exceptions. The damage it deals even at rank 1 is far superior to any other essence even at rank 3. By now you're probably thinking, okay, where do I get it? Well don't worry, I'll explain where and how you can get this essence to rank 3 the fastest way possible. But first, let's take a look at the difference between the ranks. Rank 1 as a major isn't great. It lacks the above 80% component, making it solely an execute, and the minor effect lacks the healing and execute proc chance. However, this essence is so strong as a minor, rank 1, that it's still better than rank 3 crucible. So just imagine how good this is going to be when you get it rank 3. At rank 2, the major component now gains the above 80% cooldown reset, making it a good major essence and the minor effect gains the healing component. But rank 3 is where this essence truly shines. The minor effect is just bonkers, as it has a 400% extra chance to proc if your target is below 20%, meaning this essence is going to finish off targets extremely quickly. Now, to get rank 1 of this essence, it's easy, and if you've played 8.3, you already have it, as it's from the starting introduction quest you pick up from Magni Bronzebeard. Rank 2 of this essence is time gated and is available 3 weeks from release. To get this, you need to collect 3 Breath of Everlasting Spirits, obtained from doing the first daily vision of the week. Although, bearing in mind rank 2 is time gated, you can still begin progressing rank 3 whilst you wait, as it requires you to gain Exalted with the new 8.3 faction, the Oldham Accord. This can be done by doing the daily assault quest inside of Oldham. However, to speed this up, you can do the special events inside of the Corrupted Zone. These events are marked similar to rares are on your map, with a grey arrow, and completing them rewards you with 55 rep. Whilst this is for sure a grind, it's going to be well worth it as this essence is extremely overpowered and it's going to be a must for every damage dealer in the game. Alright then guys, that's going to be it for this quick guide. Thanks for watching and be sure to plus skill if you enjoyed this video. Now get out there and farm this essence.